Meaning, uh, meaning, hindi ibig sabihin na hindi, hindi namin kinonsulta yung mga manning. Kung baka kasama nga namin sila sa pag-draft. Pero at the same time, syempre, since we are a Labour Party list group, uh, our emphasis is heavy, heavily on the rights of the seafarers. So that's why we also consulted with the unions. Different labor organizations. Yes, different labor unions and organizations of the seafarers. Okay. Pinag-uusapan pa rin natin. Ibig sabihin sila yung nakonsulta. Walang problema on Walang the part problem. of the money agency and even the ship owners. Pero speaking of the speaking of the benefits, mayroon lang ako naalala na di ba yung mga beneficyo ng mga seafarers that includes the SSS and the pag-ibig, mayroon ilang mga money agencies who don't follow this. Have you monitored this, uh, Engineer Ramirez? Mayroon akong naalaman yan ng mga ilan-ilan lang noon. No? Pero yung mga naalaman ko, ay napatawa na rin ng parosa o warning ng POA na dapat uh, magbigay na sila ng SSS. At, pero compulsory talaga ito. At kung hindi nila gagawin ito, ay matatanggalan sila ng accreditation Oy, sa eh, POA. Ulitin natin yan, Engineer Ramirez, because you know, as mentioned earlier, may mga money agency na hindi sila nagpa-follow ng ganyan. Anong gagawin ng isang, alimbawa ako? Magsumbong lang sila sa akin. At dadalhin ko yung problema na yan sa POA. Ay, tika muna yung isang, mang, uh, yung isang marino, baka naman matakot, hindi na ako makakasakay. Pag-iinitan ako nito. At ibibigyan ko siya, hanapan ko siya, <laughs> na isang magandang money, mas maganda pang money agency kasi dyan. Ay, yung blacklisting bawal yun. It's prohibited. Hindi naman mangyayari yan. I see. Hmm. Ma'am, I, I made to understand na marami, marami mga nakapaloob dito sa uh, migrant workers for seafarers. Magna Carta, uh, Magna Carta for, for seafarers. seafarers. Pwede nyo bang isa-isahin? Ay, give us three. Yung mga importante at mahahalagang uh, provision na nakapaloob dito. Well, the first provision, it's actually a whole chapter on the uh, regulation of the hours and conditions of work of seafarers, which oh. is made to, which is made to uh, be consistent with international standards. So, Alam mo, it's good thing that you mentioned that. Mayroon din tayong mga na-interview in General Ramirez. I don't know if you will agree with me. Yung trabaho nila sa barko, na dapat ilang oras lang, 8 hours. Mm -hmm. I don't know kung nagpa-follow, katulad din dito. They work for 10 hours and sometimes 12 hours. And yeah. then, hindi sila nababayaran. You, you are allowed uh, to work for 12 hours, no? 8 hours regular work and then not 4 hours of overtime. Babayaran ka dapat talaga sa overtime mo. So, ibig sabihin ka, pag hindi, hindi ka nabayaran, hindi pag hindi ka nabayaran, ay pwede mong isumbong yan sila sa POA. Aha. At, Natanggalan, matatanggalan sila ng accreditation. So, dito maliwanag dito sa batas na inakda ni Congressman Managlipay. May protection sila dito doon sa bilang ng oras ng pagtatrabaho. What else, ma'am? Of course, since it's a Magna Carta for seafarers, the rights of the seafarers are enumerated. And included in this are the right to further training okay. for them and the right to association, the right to legal representation, to information especially with respect to matters concerning their work and uh, uh, and their their rights information uh, uh, information of the about their rights uh, aside from this another yeah, since you asked for three one important uh, chapter that i think would be relevant uh, and would interest a lot of our seafarers is the provision for the milac or the maritime industry labor arbitration council it provides for a mechanism where arbitration is given emphasis in terms of settling disputes in relation to their contract or the CBA. So right now, uh, what happens is that it goes through the NLRC even with respect to matters concerning the contract and the and the CBA, but or to the NCMB. But since under our bill, we formulated a MILAC where there is an arbitration council that would specifically cater to the particular issues concerning maritime labor contracts. Wow, ang ganda na pala nito, Engineer Ramirez. Yeah, kasi iba naman yung uh, mga kaso sa, sa NLRC kasama niyo, ang karamihan dyan, mga land-based, no? At uh, iba kasi ang maritime cases, no? Dapat alam mo talaga rin ang uh, maritime industry. Even, even yung kontrata namin sa POA, iba rin yung kontrata namin sa mga taga-land base. So dapat maintindihan ito 
ng uh, arbitrator na humahawak ng kaso ng mga marino. Okay. She made mention, Congresswoman <clears throat> made mention a while ago, tungkol sa legal protection. Naalala ko yung isang kapitan ng barko na naging biktima siya ng, uh, ano, nagkaroon ng trahed, ay ano, ng aksidente sa karagatan, nagkaroon ng oil spill. Di ba siya'y kinasuhan? Ayun, ngayon nangyayari yes, sa New kinasuhan. Zealand. Yes, kinasuhan. Yes, yeah, kinasuhan yeah. siya. So, kakasuhan pa lang siya. Okay, oh. kakasuhan siya. Legal protection. So dito, makaka, magkakaroon tayo ng assurance na mabibigyan talaga ng protection uh, yung ating uh, manggagawa, yung ating seafarer. Once na nagkaroon siya ng ganitong, makainkwento siya ng ganitong klaseng problema. Yeah, hindi lang sa ganyang mga problema. Lahat ng problema ng mga marino ay dapat makakaroon siya ng isang maritime lawyer para mag-assess sa kanya. Okay, pero at present, mayroon din tayong ganon. Meron din. Okay, pahabol lang ako, Engineer Ramirez. Uh, isa ito sa mga mahalagang pinag-uusapan sa maritime industry. Yung tungkol sa pag-establish ng maritime administration, kasama, isa rin ba ito sa focus nitong batas na ito? Ah, hindi kasama to. Hindi nga. Iba okay. naman yung maritime administration dahil sa... Hindi, iba, iba, hindi, ba, hindi ba ito pinupush ng, uh, ng batas na ito to create that maritime administration? No, iba. Iba-iba iba yan. Sige, iba Kasi sa yung code, uh, maritime isang maritime code. administration na siya namang magpapatupad sa certification na certification papers ng mga marino. So wala po kayong stand on Congresswoman so far? Ako ang stand ko, personal stand ko is dapat talaga magkaroon ng single okay. na agency handling... Uh, handling the yes the seafarers the maritime industry because it won't only be beneficial for our seafarers since ngayon they go through a lot of red tape duplication of responsibilities of the agencies nahirapan yung mga marino natin at the same time nahirapan uh, nakakabawas yon sa sa uh, potential market natin ng mga Filipino seafarers and aside from that it's required under under international uh, under international standards din na magkaroon ng one agency specifically to handle maritime concerns. Okay, at I think wala na tayong gaanong oras. Maraming salamat po sa pagkakataon na ito. Ha, tatakbo pa siya, nagmamadali si Congresswoman. <laughs> mayroon siyang commitment, ha? Uh, she's very in a hurry. Uh, but ating message po dun sa ating mga kababayan, I know from the start, kanina pa, sinasabi niya, I have a commitment. Uh, no, kaya sorry. siya yung nagaano, nagmamadali. Okay, no, uh, sige po. Thank you very much for inviting me to talk about the Magna Carta for Seafarers. It's been, uh, it's been, I guess we're very optimistic that the bill will be supported by the administration since we've been having talks with the Dole. And uh, right now, uh, the Maritime Labor Convention is of interest to the administration since it will bring in uh, a lot of employment for our Filipino seafarers and since our Filipino seafarers Filipino seafarers compromise 30% of the merchant marine fleet of the world we should at, at, we, it's our responsibility as legislators my responsibility as a legislator to support them through legislation and providing them with this important uh, piece of legislation to protect their rights and their wealth thank you very much thank well you. said ah okay uh, Engineer Ramirez, your parting message po and invitation daan sa ating mga kababayan na muli makinig at manu manood ng tinig ng marami. Yeah, maraming salamat uh, Kongreso Managlipay at uh, maraming salamat naman sa lahat ng ating mga viewers. Inanyayahan ko kayo muli uh, sa sunod na uh, Miracles upang panoorin ang aming napaka-importante palagi ng mga topic tungkol dito sa not, not only the seafaring industry but the whole maritime industry. Pag-uusapan natin dito. Thank you very much. Magbabalik po kami. Standby po kayo.